The following is a production of the University of Minnesota, driven to discover. Well, greetings, everyone. I'm David Arendale. I'm your host for the PAL Groups podcast. Glad you decided to spend a couple of minutes with us today. This is a short overview for a five-part series of interviews with study group leaders in Australia. I mentioned on a previous uh, episode that I attended a conference over in Australia in October of 2019, and not only did I have an opportunity to interact with people who were directing programs, I also had the chance to have more interactions with the students who helped to run the sessions, and they kindly agreed uh, for a number of them to participate in a short interview. So here's the institutions in Australia that are represented by this five-part series. It would end up being the University of South Australia, University of Sydney, Macquarie University, Griffith University, and the Australian Catholic University. Uh, Just brilliant young people. Not only did I have a chance to hear them informally in conversations, but also had a chance to hear a number of them make their presentations uh, during the conference. Just something uh, to note about nomenclature. Whenever most colleges are referred in the professional literature outside the United States, it's called tertiary education rather than higher education. So you may notice that term pop up in a few of the interviews. Also, there's different names for peer learning programs. Here in the United States, there's a variety of them, supplemental instruction, structured learning assistance, peer-assisted learning, and it goes on from there. Inside of Australia, most of the programs are called PASS, Peer Assisted Study Sessions. So that may come up in some of the uh, comments by the students. Also, sometimes the programs are called Peer Learning or Peer Assisted Learning. Here in the United States, Supplemental Instruction is a pretty popular program and it helped to inspire a number of the past programs in Australia, but it's important to note there are some real important innovations have occurred with peer learning programs, past programs inside of Australia that have different features, more advanced ways of training their students, and also they're oftentimes much more holistic in what they're doing in addition to helping students to earn higher grades on their exams. So let's go ahead and end this short little overview, and then we're going to hear five episodes, and we're focusing on just about five different questions that I prompted them with, and let's hear what they have to share with us. Thanks for listening today. Best wishes.